All right, bait finesse fans. In this video, I'll be fishing this rig right here. This guy right here, gonna catch a lot of fish on the surf. What I have here is the Z-Man Slim Swims three inch. There is a two and a half inch version, but I prefer to use this guy here because it's a little bit bigger. It's gonna be a little bit heavier so that I can actually sling out a lot further, but also a little bit bigger may entice some of the bigger fish to bite too. I know I'm a finesse guy. I just throw a lot of small stuff, right? But I found this guy right here more effective than the smaller one because a lot of species that I target have big mouths anyway. So using something a little bit big like this guy here give you a higher chance of catching bigger fish. But if you want to use a smaller one, that's fine too because the smaller one, it's going to sink a lot faster because we are rigging these stuff with light weights. And what I have here rigged is the Texas Eye Finesse Jig. This is the one six ounce version and this hook here is articulated allowing this lure to swing very, very freely. And what's really, really cool about this uh, hook is that it has a nice bait keeper, perfect for those Z-Man Elastec. The total weight of this lure is seven grams, so it's very awesome. It's gonna give you a lot of good distance fishing from the surf. The setup I'll be using today is my brand new Dawa Silver Wolf SVTW 1000 PE Special Edition. This is an awesome reel. I made a couple videos about it, and basically I'm out there exploring the reel, fishing a light lure like this. I have paired up the reel on a caching icon. This is the Salt Finesse casting rod medium light power rated down to one eighth ounce. So this is perfect throwing this rig out there. I have Verivis 8, eight strand carrier, 0.8 go, spooled halfway, which is about 250 feet. And then I have eight pound floral leader. So let me get on surf and show you how amazing this rig is. All right, that's what you do. You know this? Bring him in. Woo, look at that guy. Mm -hmm. I think you got it. I think you got it. He's making it. He's fly away. Fish. Oh yeah, finesse fishing, baby. This is so cool. Oh yes, yes, here we are, here we are. The battle that I've been wanting. Oh yeah. Color is so different, he is bright. Yeah, look at that. That is what's up. All right. Off you go. Hey, look, my brother's catching fish too. I don't see him. <laughs> Pattern looks so cool. All right, dude. Hold up. I was watching a Hey, you got spikes all over the place. All right. Woo! You got spikes right in the front. What kind of skate is that, guys? Clear nose? Oh, yeah, he's whacking me. Clicker's going up, but not that big. Yep. I mean, it's a good size. Very decent size for, you know, the finesse fishing side, right? Had a little dry spell a second ago, but I'm glad they're back. I'm glad they're back. Look at that. Skin hook. Skin hook. Uh. 
we go. Shaky, shaky. It's definitely right in front of a stick. A lucky stick. Okay, okay, little. This is what I'm talking about, guys. The wave sometimes pulls it back and then puts too much force on it, and then your fish will snap your line. Shoot. All right, Texas rig hooking. All right, Crispy, peace out. So much sand. All right. Great, now my shirt is wet. Good job, Jimbo. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This guy right here. He's battling. He's battling. That is a behemoth. Woo! Big sea robin. He's a gigantor. He's a gigantor. Oh my gosh. It's like, ay, 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 saw my arm off. Damn, look at this cool fish. So cool. Like this. Oh, yo. Oh, yo. Fish. Oh, yeah. We hit once, set the hook missed, left it there, came right back for it. Aggressive little flounders. All right, off it goes. Not a small guy. All right, in you go. Oh no! 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 Dude, this guy right here is a slayer. I am loving it and I can't wait to fish this lure again. And I wanna know that I like the specific rig rather than using a plain jig head because my brother, he was using a plain jig head while we we're fishing and he was picking off weeds, a lot of weeds. I'm um, fishing uh, the surf that's very close to the bay side and when the tide changes, outgoing tide, it brings a lot of seaweed out. And having this rig right here where it's rigging weedless, 
it, it's uh, reducing the amount of time that I have to go take the seaweed off the hook so that I can spend more time fishing the lure. And the hookup ratio for this guy is actually pretty darn good. I am very, very impressed with it. And I'll definitely, definitely throw this a lot more often. It'll be really, really cool if I can see like uh, different hook sizes and maybe some more different weights for the finesse side. But man, this hook is amazing. All right, the Daiwa Silver Wolf. I'm gonna talk a little bit about this reel because I'm loving this reel and this whole entire video series, although this video is about this guy right here, it's really part of me reviewing the Daiwa Silver Wolf uh, 1000 PE Special Edition. I'm loving it and um, I can't wait for y'all to even try it. But I do wanna share with y'all a bad experience in this specific trip. It started here during this specific session. So uh, my setup, as you guys are aware, I'm using 0.8 Go, uh, 16 pound test line, right? Very, very thin. It might be strong, right? Uh, Verivis is a very, very high grade PE line. High end, okay? But we were snapping line after this session. And before this specific session fishing this lure here, my brother was actually using this setup. You see, I had two setups for the day. I was basically swapping sounds with him so that I could create content. And the other setup is the Bates Hundo on the Sorinoya Fox hunting rod, seven foot, eight inch medium light power. So you guys want to stay tuned for that because that is a very, very fun setup. Uh, but anyway, as we swap setups, right? Although I'm familiar with the Daiwa Silver Wolf because you know, I'm very, very familiar with Daiwa breaking system. I already found my sweet spot, right? It's like breaking power eight to six. Six is gonna be lower and lower side where I need to feather, but I get very, very good long distance. But I didn't change the settings when I gave it to him, so he was backlashing. And uh, when you backlash, you could potentially damage your line, especially when you guys fixing it. And when I was watching my younger brother fixing it, he's pulling the line out. I was like, dude, the line's like bit on there, it's crossover, and the way to yank it, the friction that it creates and stuff like that. We're gonna be snapping the line later. And then eventually, uh, he snapped line, and I took the setup from him. And um, once I fixed the whole thing, he was fishing, fishing the other setup, right? So I was like, you know what, let's start this episode. And eventually I started snapping line as well. Like one of my hooks that I set the hook and the line snap. So braid have no stretch. So once you have it damaged, you do a hook set or you do a cast out there and you backlash again and then uh, the lower stop, the smooth stops, right? So all the force is applied right to the braid line and potentially it will snap. So be very, very careful. If you need to cast, cast softer. You want to use softer rods. Like this casting rod here is perfect because it bends really, really well. Uh, if I were using, let's say, my Benkei rod because it's uh, fast step and very stiff, potentially I've been snapping line all day. So uh, really, really important if you guys use 0.8 go. Heck, if you guys want to use thinner line like 0.6 go, you definitely want to be more careful. Now, once again, I want to say that I trust Verivis line. I really, really feel like this specific instance is because of the uh, nasty several backlash that my younger brother had. But after peeling enough line, I felt like there was no, no were no more problem afterwards. The last tip is add a longer leader. Like at the beginning of the day, I have a rod length of leader and having a long leader is great because it helps absorb shock. Uh, we were changing allures a lot. We changed allures a few times uh, because we want to figure out what the fish were biting. And it's blues out there biting off lures. So eventually the line became half the rod length. So uh, with that said, it lost the stretch of their, your whole setup. So that could also have been one of the reasons why I snapped the line. So right after I tied a new leader on, I put exactly a uh, rod length, no more issue. So yeah, be very, very careful when fishing with thin line. Anyhow, I thank you all for watching this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Y'all definitely need to try this rig out on the surf as it will catch a lot of fish. And also definitely want to give the Daiwa Silver Wolf a try because right now the price is just right. Left a link in the video description below, but do take note that Amazon once in a while did put the price up just because people are buying it. So you don't want to buy this if it's over like 300 something dollars. Anything below, let's say $270 is a go because Digitaka right now have this reel around the $270 mark. Thank you for watching the Fish Don't Wait. Get your fishing game on and go slay them on the surf.